had two rides around here, two good rides around here. Um, first was on your 21st birthday, I want to <laughs> say. Um, can you tell us what, what, what's it like? What's it like to jump around this course? scary <laughs> um, yeah the the first time I walked it I definitely questioned what on earth I was I was doing um, but to to come through the finish flags um, with a clear cross-country round is the most unbelievable feeling um, you know it's why we do it it's why we put ourselves through the sleepless nights on the Friday night feeling sick all day Saturday um, but the buzz you get jumping around something like this is is second to none and um, yeah it's a feeling that I'm sad I won't be having this year um, round here but hopefully another day in the future. Brilliant and we're going to go and take a look now at one last combination there's so much more for people to come and see so I can't wait for the event itself but we're going to head up now to Jaws at the Maltings to have a look at those big white fences up there. So here we are at fence 13 and 14 Jaws at the Maltings. We had a long run up the hill here before we jumped the white gate which is very cleverly positioned slightly on an angle so the direct line from the galloping lane to then being able to loop round to fence 14 makes the gate quite angled. So it's about respecting that and if you feel that you need to just square it off a little bit to be on the safe side, you might waste half a second, but it'll at least prevent a fall. You then gallop round here and this is where I always think here at the Maltings, the horses can sometimes get a bit disorientated because they're do basically doing a full circle, which they don't often do on the cross country. So you've got to make sure that the horse's mind is focused on the job. You then come to this very large white parallel, very square at this, and then we're doing a curving right-hand turn to the BC element, which is the corner. It walks on, uh, I think, a, a nice level five strides. If you were going off to the left or straight afterwards, I think you'd definitely see people coming on the inside line on the four strides. But because you're turning right and going down that gallop track there, I don't think you gain anything by, by shaving in here because you'd lose it on the turn afterwards. You will see some people staying slightly wider and being a little bit squarer at this corner to prevent a run out. So maybe going on the six strides, but it does walk a very nice level five strides. So if you get a good jump over that, just stick to the line five strides and then you'll be in a balance to turn right afterwards and continue without wasting too much time.